Welcome back to another clay video. Today, we are going to create this miniature deep sea diving scene from Animal Crossing New Horizons inside of a mint container. Let's begin with the mint container. And I gotta say, these peppermints were not as good as cinnamon, but it was the only flavor they had at the store. And since I needed the container to make this, I have all the mints in a bag and I've just been slowly eating through them. Now we have this mixture of all these different blues and this will be for the water layer. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, they have this feature that hasn't been in any other Animal Crossing game called deep sea diving. And it's an extension of fishing. So instead of throwing your pole in, you actually jump into the water yourself and dive down to catch these different sea creatures. And there's a pretty big variety of things you can catch like sea urchins and starfish. There's also octopus and squid different types of crabs and lobster. So there's a pretty big variety, not quite as many as the fish, but that makes sense because you can catch fish in many different places. Let's begin creating the character, which is me, Carabix. Here we have the holes for the eyes, and although I don't have blue eyes in real life, it's a game, so in the game I have blue eyes. And we have this triangle nose. There's a couple different types of noses you can pick, but I have the triangle. And now we have the scuba goggles. And it's always really crazy working at this tiny scale because you can't really make much of the stuff with your hands. You mostly have to use your tools. We have the snorkel here, which is just broken down into a couple different little sections. And now for the hair, this was a little bit tricky to get the shape right because I wanted to cut out these sideburns to go around the ears. And we have the triangles in the front. I just have the very basic hairstyle in the game. And that looks pretty good, so let's start creating the body. These will be the arms, and there's some different varieties of diving suits you can choose, some different colors and designs. But I like this one. This is the one you can get from the Nook Mile shop. We have some black for the body, and let's split this open for the legs. And a little bit of the skin color for the feet. We also have another stripe of this greenish blue color. And it's a little bit more curved, so I had to move that. Now let's remove Karabix from the table and place him into the water. Just like the fish in the game, these sea creatures have these different shadows underwater to tell you where they are, and depending on the size of them or the speed that they move around, you can sometimes tell what you might be trying to catch. They are sort of circle shaped, but they don't really look like perfect circles, and I think this might be because the water is sort of wavy. Now this is the part I was really unsure about. You can see all these bubbles coming up from the shadows. and. I wanted to create this, but I didn't know how well this would work, but it turns out these blue little dots of clay work really good for bubbles. And I think that it actually sort of has a 3D look to it, like they're popping out of the water. Next, we will create Pascal. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's the way that I always say it. This is an otter you can find in the water. When you catch a scallop, sometimes he'll come up and ask you for it, because he likes to eat the scallops. And if you give it to him, he'll give you a mermaid furniture DIY, or he will give you a pearl, and you use these pearls to create the mermaid furniture. Unfortunately, you can only get him once a day, so it takes a little while to get all of the furniture and the pearls that you need. Out of all the characters in the game that aren't characters you can actually have as villagers, this one is definitely my favorite. I really love otters in real life, and this character just has such a great personality. Here we have some tiny eyebrows, and let's create the nose. We also have some whiskers here. These were pretty hard to get on there, it's very very tiny. Now we will create the scallop that we just gave him, and he's very very happy with it. He's gonna go have a nice little snack. He also has these overalls. We have a little bit of silver at the bottom. 
Now let's get some arms on him so he can hold on to his scallop. Our final detail, we have to stick the ears onto him. And let's remove Pascal from the table and place him onto the water. And he looks very satisfied to have his little scallop there. Now I think that it looks just a little bit empty on the bottom right corner, so I'm going to add in some rocks. Although you can get into the water basically anywhere, I like to jump off of the big rocks by the shore. These rocks are sort of in different levels, so I'm trying to add a little bit of variation to them here. Let's get this into the tin, and we can add a few other rocks, just to add a little bit extra detail to it. And now, we are ready to get baked! After baking, there's nothing else we have to do, so here it is! The Animal Crossing New Horizons Deep Sea Diving, inside of a mint container. I hope you all enjoy the creation of this mini Animal Crossing scene. If you want to see another mint container I've made of Animal Crossing, you can check it out up here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.